As you begin to explore the Mephisto Phoenix, it'll be helpful to understand the basic menus and modes within the computer itself. So let's take a quick introduction to the system menus so you can navigate your way most easily. When Mephisto Phoenix first starts up, you'll see two options. One is playing against the computer, allowing all the features of playing the computer and analysis, position setup, and so on. The other one is play retro chess, giving you access to about 20 or more retro engines from the 80s and 90s, like the 1984 Mephisto Glasgow. We'll refer to retro chess engines more later in this video. For now, let's start with playing against the computer. From the main screen, there is a home button, Wi-Fi, system settings, which we'll cover primarily here, chess engine settings, and the previous button, which takes you back to the previous menu at any point. Let's look at system settings. Sound is turning sound on and off. Volume is the volume, which can be changed like this. The board swaps the board black at top to white at top. Then you can change the pieces on the board itself. Anytime you make a selection, it closes the system menu, so you can go back into it if needed. It's possible to update the machine, select your language, reset the entire system, and even connect here via Wi-Fi. Let's do that for a moment so you can see the procedure for joining Wi-Fi for the first time. Here is a mobile hotspot. I'll type in the password for it. It says connecting to network. Connected to network, now you see the blue light here indicating that Wi-Fi is connected. When it is, under system settings you can press update. It checks for network updates. And it has successfully updated the machine to the latest version. When updating your Phoenix, note especially the version number here, 4.00D. Under system settings, after getting the new version of the software, you will select the version you wish to play with. Up here it says select version. Confirm. Now we see that 4.00E is available. I could also select D. Selecting E, I'll then press confirm. It says do not power off the system. Now 4.00E is selected and it's restarting. Allow Phoenix to start completely. When you play against the computer, you'll now see 4.00E is active. Under system settings, you'll also see various other things such as exporting PGN, that is the game notation, to a USB drive if it is plugged into the back. At any point, if you're in a sub menu, you can press previous to go back to the previous menu. If you're in that sub menu and you want to go to the home screen, press the home screen. If we want to go out to the primary menu on the device, we'll press it twice to go to this menu. Within this menu, you'll find retro chess. Here, for example, are some codes. I'm going to pick K5, which is the Task King 2.5. The resolution is designed to match the original. Here you see the clocks reminiscent of that computer from back in that day. Press the menu. Once again, we can press play against the computer. Although we're going to cover engine settings in more detail separately, I would like to just show you that under engine settings, you can also set an ELO or a rating such as a specific rating for the engine to play or even adaptive. This means it will adjust to your level. At this point, you can go right ahead and begin playing against the computer. We'll explore many other settings in the coming videos. And as of today, there are a variety of advanced features coming related to game saving and online play. So look forward to that.